When it comes to having an awesome gaming experience, I've always done it on TVs and gaming monitors. That's what I thought, but then my view changed when I tried something completely different. When BenQ reached out for me to cover their latest gaming projector, the TK700 STI, I was surprised to say the least. Before this, I had never thought of adding a device like this to my lineup, but after using it, I gotta say it's actually amazing. If you want to know more about this projector via BenQ social media or even buy it, I'll be leaving links in the description. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more gaming and tech videos like this, then make sure you do. It is really appreciated and tells me what you want to watch. So how about we get into what this beast can actually do? Starting off, yes, this is a projector. If you're like me, you know they have some awesome pluses but also some serious drawbacks. This one right here bridges the gap closer than ever before. First up, let's unbox it. Numero Uno is the BenQ Android TV Stick. This gives you a massive expansion of content you can view and has a sleek space for it to fit in the back. I'll get to that later. Next up, we have a bag that includes the Quick Start Guide regulatory statements and the media remote. This remote has every function you need, including Google Voice, a setting shortcut, and a sole button for Amazon Prime Video. It's very light and plasticky, but doesn't feel bad to use. We've got the power cord, which is just a generic plug. Then we get to the projector itself. All we need to do is remove the packing foam and wrap. Then we get to see this 4K powerhouse. We've got a vent on the front, which wraps around the right side, ports on the back, and a larger vent on the left. There are also adjustable legs on the bottom for fine tuning and positioning. Now, let's take a dive into the specs. The model I'm looking at today, the TK700 STI, is capable of 4K at 60fps, 1080p at 120 and even 240fps. This isn't just a projector with a gaming name slapped on the top, it's really impressive. It supports PS4, PS5, the Xbox One lineup, the Xbox Series lineup, and PC. I personally have been using my Intel Core i9 rig for the recording of games with this projector. In terms of latency, it has a response time of 16.67 milliseconds at 4K 60fps, 8.33 milliseconds at 1080p 120fps, and 4.2 milliseconds at 1080p 240 fps these response times are giving high spec tvs a run for their money which i'm very happy to see if you want to access this response time simply go into the projector settings which can be accessed via the projector menu button on the remote you'll see picture mode where you can change it from multiple presets it has bright living room game sports cinema and user we'll want to choose game we also have specific settings like FPS, RPG, and SPG. This will not only change the response time, but alter the audio that comes out of the inbuilt speaker. I'll get more into that soon. This supports HDR10 and HLG, so if you're looking for something that can push a higher dynamic range compared to other projectors, this definitely delivers. It has 3000 lumens of brightness, which is more than enough to get the job done. Also to note, this is a short throw projector. Well, that's what the brochure says anyway. It can provide a 100 inch throw from under two meters. Some people don't think that this is a legitimate short throw, but others do. I'll let you decide on that. This also supports the Rec. 709 color space with 96% coverage. It has 3D keystone adjustments which can be done manually by you or automatically from the projector's choice. It also has picture rotation adjustment if you ever need it. Also it has an included 5 watt speaker which for its size is more than adequate. I'll also put up some more physical and technical specs here so you can pinpoint if this is the right one for you. In terms of I.O. connectivity, we have two HDMI 2.0 ports, USB 2.0 with power, RS-232 plus an audio out jack. We also have a compartment which houses the Android TV stick. All you need to do is get a Phillips head screwdriver and undo the top screw. With some force, pull it back and you'll see where the stick goes. Put in the bottom plug, then slot it into the third hidden HDMI port. Slide the cover back on, Screw it back into place, and you're done. 
On the top we have a few crucial buttons. This includes the power, menu, mode and input selection. There is also left, right, top and bottom buttons along with a central OK push button. You also get a zoom wheel and a focus ring. How about we have a look at what this projector can do and the equivalent 4K TV. So as I said, this projector can output 4K 60fps HDR10 at 16.67 milliseconds in game mode. This also costs just under 2600 Australian dollars or $16.99 USD at the time of filming. The TV I'm using for this is a Samsung QLED Q75R, one that's been in my household since late 2019. It also outputs 4K 60fps in HDR10 and has its own game mode. And you know what's also funny? This was priced the exact same amount as the projector when it was new. This TV is actually faster, being 14 milliseconds. Honestly, the speed difference is so small between the two that you can't tell a difference. What I can say though is that it's a great gaming experience on both. Together, these devices also output 1080p 120fps, but only the projector can do 240 frames a second. So if you're wanting a faster response time in FPS titles and have a powerful enough computer, the projector is the way to go. That's in theory though. When it comes to practical use, the TV edges ahead. In terms of picture quality, the Samsung is crisper, but that's to be expected against the projector. On the color accuracy side, the TV wins hands down. When gaming all the surroundings you explore feel real to what you always expected but the projector has a few struggles. I noted that the reds turned to brown and somehow yellow turned to green. I tried my best to correct it with the settings, but I still couldn't get it close to the Samsung's color accuracy. In terms of viewing movies, it has the same issues. The colors just aren't right. I don't know if it's because I haven't used projectors in so long, or that I'm just so used to accurate panels. Now I know I probably sound like I'm not much of a fan of this projector at the moment, but I do actually have a soft spot for it, and here's why. Obviously, it's much more portable than a TV. You've also got much more control of your size thanks to the zoom ring. The quality coming from it is actually amazing, much better than I thought it would be. The response time on it blows my mind. I never thought a projector could have such low input latency. This is thanks to its DLP technology, which is 1000 times faster than your typical 3 LCD technology. The size of it is not too obtrusive and the price is great for the specs. The 5 watt speaker is surprisingly punchy and if you are without a dedicated sound system, it's an okay alternative. Here's a sound sample recorded with my Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, here's what I don't like. I don't want to keep talking about the color accuracy, but it took me by surprise, and not in a good way. It's honestly so distracting when coming from an accurate TV and even gaming monitor. This is one of those things that if you have never used a projector, you won't like it. But if you have used them many times before, you'll probably find this one great. When you compare this TK700 STI to the similar priced and spec Optima UHD 50X, it wipes the floor in terms of correct colors. BenQ have actually done a good job, and as I said earlier, this projector bridges the gap closer to TVs and monitors. Also with the Android TV, where is Netflix? You can't find it anywhere, so you're going to have to live without it. When I was in the testing phase, I wanted to open it and play a few movies, but I couldn't. So I had to change input to the HDMI from my PC and then use Netflix from there. So summing up, would I actually recommend this? Yes, if you're looking for a 4K projector at this price point, it's a good choice. The features it has crammed into it are nothing less than awesome. If you're wanting to sit back and play a racing game like me, then it's a great experience. The low input lag is awesome and viewing movies is overall a good experience if you're not too fast with the color accuracy like me. The Android TV stick is really easy to use and many mainstream apps to choose from. Honestly, if I had a dedicated room for it, I'll be using this projector quite a lot. Anyway guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you liked what you saw, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to check out BenQ's socials or the product, 
I've got links in the description. Once again, I'd like to thank BenQ for reaching out to me to test this projector. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.